As the Christmas song says, it is a wonderful time of the year, and no doubt a memorable time of the year for Ryan and Bethany, who pledge their love publicly in the presence of you and I on this day. If you could see, you may have been able to see Ryan's, but I don't know about Bethany's, as, they came, as Bethany came down the aisle, the eyes said it all. There were a little bit of tears, but tears of great joy. Because love is what has gathered us here today. A love that is not rude, not pompous, not arrogant, but a love that is sustaining and embracing. And a love that grows. Whatever we believe, whatever we believe in, I know that each of us believe in love. Love is what grounds us as human beings, as a family. And so I look around and I say, this is a huge family. And so we give thanks tonight. Ryan is one of the most genuine people I know, and, and I'm very lucky to call him my best friend. Growing up, we did everything together, and it was not just Ryan and I. We were quite the local game. 
We always had something we worked on and had to go well above and beyond. We didn't just do things, we, we did the things. I mean, we went all out. Uh, but I will say, as we got older, um, we did uh, get more successful at uh, these little projects that we worked on. But arguably Ryan's most successful uh, project um, was landing Bethany. So uh, last night we're at the rehearsal dinner and Ms. Lejewski uh, stood up and talked about how Ryan came by their house one summer to say goodbye. And she said that Bethany like, just kept telling you that he's just a friend, like he's, it's, it's nothing, he's just a friend. And, and I said to them, I, I said, hey, so uh, Ryan told me that you like never really wanted to date him or something like that. And she was just like, yep, that's true, <laughs> that's true. Of course, here we are. <laughs> it's quite evident to everyone here um, how much you both love each other and how you work together in your relationship in the light of the Lord. If there's one thing I've learned in my life, it's that relationships take work. And to see you both work together in unison is enlightening and inspiring. I thank our holy God that he has blessed one of my best friends by putting a gentle, kind, and patient woman in Ryan's life. It's just so hard to believe that 10 years have passed and here we are, and here you found someone so special as Ryan. Bethany, I admire you so much for everything you, you do, everything you go through, how hard you work to get where you are going. I, I wouldn't trade you for anything in the world. I'm glad you're my sister. I, I'm glad that you brought Ryan into our family. I knew as soon as Ryan came home to our house and I met him, I knew that there was something special about him and Bethany was in love with him. She would deny it. I would ask her every single time, who is that? Do you like him? Are you guys dating? And she would always say, no, 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 no. That's just a friend. He doesn't even like me anyways. <laughs> it was just something special, even as my 10 year old self knew that this day would be coming. Genesis 2.18, and the Lord God said, it's not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him, a helper, a companion, his equal, someone to share his deepest thoughts and share his unfailing love. I ask that you all raise a glass and we toast this incredible pair. May you both have a life filled with love, laughter, and joy. It's Ryan and Bethany.